Hey, Jim, this is Samantha from Feed Me Leads. I spoke to Nina on the phone and I told her that I would send you over the screencast. And so here it is. I'm going to keep it really short and sweet. I'm just going to go through your site really quickly. I'm going to go through one of your competitor sites. Then I'm actually going to give you three ways that you can use today for free to start bringing in some more traffic to your site. And so I send these screencasts out with all this free information, but often when business owners see what I do, how I do it, and how much work is put into it, they decide that they want to team up. So if you watch this through and you feel the same, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. But without further ado, let's get into it. And so here I am on your home page, which I really like the background on this. It's really cool. However, there is not a lot of content on here. And so Google is going to be ranking your website based off of around 200 different factors. One of those key factors is going to be content. You want to have a minimum of 1,000 to 1,500 words on this home page. I did a word counter search, and you guys currently have 250 words. So we definitely want to add in some more content on here. We also want to make sure that content is quality educational content. Google is going to send out their bots, and they are going to crawl through your site and determine whether or not the content on there will help Google's users find the information or the services that they're looking for. And in addition to having the appropriate amount of content, we also want to make sure that content has the appropriate amount of high volume buyer intent keywords so that we can get you ranked for all of the right things. And so over here, I've hopped over to Google. The keyword I'll be using for today's video is paving Miami. This is a really great keyword. It brings in around 200 searches per month. So if you were to convert just a few of those into customers, you would be doing really well for just one keyword. And so right beneath the search bar here, we have our Google ads. There is only one popping up at the moment, but Google ads are a really good way to get your name out there and build some brand recognition, particularly while you are waiting for your SEO to warm up. However, if they're done incorrectly, you can definitely waste quite a bit of money on them. But if they're done right, they are a good way to get things moving quickly. And so right here beneath the Google ads, we have our Google map pack. The Google Map Pack is a great spot to be in, particularly if you can make it into one of these top three spots. And in order to do that, you need to have a lot of citations. And so a citation is just when your business is listed on an online directory. So think Yelp or Yellow Pages or Yext. Those are all good examples of online directories that people trust and use a lot. And so you want to be on more of those directories than these three businesses are right here. And so now I've scrolled down and I've made it to the organic search results. This should be your main area of focus. It's going to be your best long-term return on investment. Google has actually come out and said that over 70% of people, when they type something into the search bar, they are going to be clicking on one of these organic search results, and they are almost always going to click on one towards the top of the first page. And so here is the first company page that pops up for this keyword. And so their site looks pretty good as well. I did a word counter search on them, and they actually only have 492 words. So although they have a bit more content than you uh, have on here right now, they would definitely be very easy to beat out content-wise, as they do not even have the bare minimum for Google standards. So in addition to having good content, in order to rank organically, you need to have a lot of high-powered backlinks. And so a backlink is basically just a shout-out from another website you want to get these shout outs or backlinks from high powered and relevant sites. So for example, if a local construction company were to give you a backlink from their site, that would be a really good way to bring more power to yours. And so over here, I've hopped onto Arifs. Arifs is a really great tool. If you guys ever try and bring this in house, I highly recommend using it. It is a little pricey. It costs me around $350 a month to use but it gives me a lot of great information. And so right here, I typed in the competitor we were just looking at, and I can see that they have 2,380 backlinks from 221 different domains, and they are ranking organically for around 829 keywords. So we can actually click and see which keywords those are. We wanna be looking out for keywords that have buyer's intent, bring in a lot of volume, and are preferably location specific. And so here it lists all the different keywords, how many people search for that keyword every month, what position they hold for that keyword on Google, and how much traffic they get from it every month. And so we can go through, see which ones apply to what you do, which ones are the best, and we can incorporate those into your content. 
And so now I want to go back and I want to do the exact same thing that I just did with their backlinks, or sorry, with their keywords with their backlinks. And so right now it is saying that they have around 2,380 backlinks. We don't want to just beat them out with the quantity of backlinks. We want to beat them out with the quality as well. And so we can go through and we can see which ones have a high DR domain rating, and we can snag those for your site. Then we can also look through other competitors' backlinks, find some on our own. And so they have over 2,000 backlinks, which is quite a few. It is beatable, though. But also keep in mind that this is just one competitor for one keyword for one of the services that you provide, and we want to be able to beat out all of your competition. And so really quickly, before I wrap this up, I've actually typed in your site into Arifs as well, and it is telling me you guys currently have 129 backlinks from 63 different domains and are ranking organically for around 1,300 keywords. And so you guys are going for a lot of keywords, but we also want to make sure that you have a lot of backlinks so that you can actually rank for those keywords. And so here we can go through and see which keywords you are ranking for. And so it seems like you are ranking number one or on the first page for a few keywords here. Um, and a lot of these look like they come from an educational standpoint, which is really good that you're providing educational content on your page. However, a lot of these don't exactly have buyer's intent, meaning that someone who is typing this up is probably just looking for information rather than to purchase something. And so we want to make sure all of the different keywords you're going for have buyer's intent. And so to recap what we talked about in this video is number one, we want to add in some more quality educational content with buyer intent keywords. Number two, we want to get you some more citations to get you ranked on the map pack. And then number three, we need some more high powered relevant backlinks. And so that's what I have for you for today. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this and got something out of it. If you are interested in learning more, you can email me back or you can give me a call. My number is 714-975-5909. So thank you for watching and I look forward to speaking with you.